welcome my dear friend to celebrating God reflection number three this reflection I want us to think of how we can celebrate God with our finances everything we have belongs to God and it is important that we learn to be good stewards of the little or the much that God has given us. One of the areas that we are completely limping as Christians is in the discipline of giving. One thing I want you to know is that you cannot get poorer by giving. If anything, you even get richer. Why? Because the more you give, the more you allow God a chance to replenish, to do what he does best. In fact, I keep on saying that the more we give, in fact, if you learn to give without thinking, God gives you without counting because he owns everything. The question I would want you to ask yourself in your finances, God is number what? I'm always mesmerized when I hear the question, uh, but Father, do I tithe my gross? Do I tithe my net? And then I realize that now we are on the level of mathematics. And you know, giving is more spiritual than it is mathematics. In fact, tithing and any other giving is a spiritual decision and not a mathematical decision. Learn to dedicate your finances to God. Learn to dedicate your business to God. Every coin you have, it is not yours. It has the owner. Our giving reminds us that God is the ultimate recipient of every good gift that we give. As a result, we keep on getting more because that is exactly what the principle of Lordship talks about. In most of our churches, there is always an announcement concerning finances. Why? Because we want to receive, but not to give. And I want to tell you this one thing that you need to know, that even the gospel is very expensive. Actually, it had to cost God the Father, his only son. And there you are, holding your 20 bob, and you want God to give you 20,000 to pay school fees. I think you need to be more open and more benevolent for God to come and multiply the cheering that you have. Remember, he is called El Shaddai, God of more than enough. Enter into his sheepfold and tell him I have come. All that I have is yours. Take it. And as he takes it, he'll give you that which is yours. The moment we celebrate God with our finances, we are saying that we know he owns everything that we have, including ourselves. In our celebrating God, can I, can I request you as a charge, start from now, celebrating your God with the little he has given you, or even the more that you have. Learn to give. Learn to share what you have. And you will tell me one day, since I started giving. I'm more happy and I have more. Because as I've told you, he is the God who is called El Shaddai, God of more than enough. He is ready to give you only if you are ready to receive. May it be well with you today and all the days of your physical life. Again, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K. Asante sana.